We are Brook Street. Uh, if we haven't officially met, my name is Jason. I'm Hannah. And uh, we recently went on a tour with the wonderful Tay Oski. He uh, had us on board to open for the shows and also play in his band. So. And we went all the way down the east coast of Australia, down to Melbourne and a place called Sandy Point. So uh, here's our little uh, video diary. And uh, thanks, Tay, for having us. We love you forever. <laughs> So before we hit the road, we went to Tay's house at a miscellaneous location. Very top secret location. And uh, got to rehearse for two days? Three days. Three days, I think it was. We'd all learn our parts separately, but to um, bring the band together and to learn his set and to refine ours a little bit. Just made it lock in. It's a good time. A little and, bit. <laughs> and there's a lot of animals um, around his house. Yeah. Chickens, snakes, goannas. Possums. Toads. Cookabars. Spiders. <laughs> you alright mate? <laughs> So basically after that we packed all the gear into um, two small SUVs and hit the road to head to our first show which was at... Drum roll please! Byron Bay! It was so cool to play Byron but before then we actually did some busking on the street which was a cool experience. Shout out to Pete and Dave McCready for helping us out. Also chatting to the police on our behalf when we got busted for busking in the wrong spot. Yeah, we had no idea. Oh, you oh. guys, <laughs> you guys are legends. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this. I get attacked by a wasp. So we had two days there, surfing, chilling, busking, and then we had the actual show at the Northern on the Thursday, Wednesday night. On the Wednesday, Wednesday night. night, yeah. songwriters in the audience that we really look up to um, in the folk scene and in the wider kind of music scene in Australia so that was quite nerve-wracking really but also amazing and oh and Ziggy sneaked in and opened the show which was pretty uh, pretty cool so mm. thanks to Albert for showing us your wonderful mad skills mm -hmm. Uh, and then we hit the road. We had a couple of days be um, before the Brisbane show. So we headed south to Yamba to catch up with our mate James, who runs a wonderful thing called uh, Live from the Backyard. We got bitten by about a million mosquitoes to film a, a video playing some of our songs and a podcast, but it was absolutely worth it. Um, if you don't know who he is, check him out. So then we headed back to Brizzy for the second proper show of the tour at the Bright Side, which was quite an unusual venue to have a folk gig in, hey? Mm, yeah, kind of, it seemed like most of the gigs there that happen are like kind of punk rock vibes. So totally. yeah. yeah, yeah. Lots of acoustic guitars that night. Mm. A wonderful show, such a special audience. For us, that was like our second Brook Street show ever in a venue mm. like that. And so it was really amazing to kind of feel a bit more confident with our songs yeah. And to get some people singing along, which mm -hmm. was very, very cool as well. Yeah. 
The next show we played was Soul Bar in our hometown of the Sunshine Coast and yeah it was amazing to have some friends and family come out to see us and support. Um, by that point we were getting pretty comfortable with the sets and really starting to enjoy ourselves um, on the run of shows so that was a special night. After that, we headed down to the gong. We had some family come and see us play at that show as well um, at La La La's, That's which right. was a pretty cool venue. Yeah. Uh Tay got attacked by a fox, actually, in his swag the night before, which was a mm. bit of a rare time. Yeah. But um, puffing out was pretty good. Amazing surf. Amazing catching up with friends. Um, yeah. And then we headed on back to Sydney, Sydney. <laughs> play the lands down, which was a, another gig with heaps of friends and family. Thanks to everyone that came out to that one. Uh, it was cool to be back in Sydney. We both have kind of lived down that way at various parts of our life. So that was special to, to be back in that part of the world. Mm -hmm. I'm trying city, city, city still. Fighting the voice that says I never will Still a limp but steady, steady, steady again the next day to Newcastle. Yui. And then we had a big drive all the way down the east coast over the border into Victoria. So we had like three or four days to do this. So we just took our time surfing, chilling, bushwalking, um, got to see some really really stunning places mm. uh, around Lakes Entrance and then we continued on to Wilson's Promontory, which oh, was stunning. We had no stunning. idea what we were doing. We just saw it on Google Images and said, yeah, that place. Oh. Uh, and it was wonderful until 75 kilometer per hour winds whipped up in the middle of the night and almost blew us away.
Yeah. Uh, then we headed on to Melbourne. <laughs> the North Coast. The North Coast. The North Coast. North Coast. The North Coast Social, Social Club. Club. Such a wonderful audience. <coughs> oh, you okay? <laughs> it seems uh, like the crowd. The crowd in Melbourne. You guys just know how to be present at gigs. It's so good. Thank you so much. <laughs> Not that we're hacking on everyone else, but there was something special in the room uh, yeah. at that gig. Mm. I, don't, I don't know. Either way, it was a very special gig for us, and we uh, <laughs> we definitely remember it quite fondly. Yeah. Uh, then after that was the last show of the tour for us, um, down in Sandy Point, and it was such a great show to play. Yeah, we had no idea uh, what it would be like. We just knew it was at a community centre mm. and we get there and it's sold out pretty much over mm. capacity 110 people mm. uh, of all ages kids families older people yeah. young people just such a mixed bag and it was probably my favorite show of the whole tour mm. yeah same yeah we both feel like brook street is made for like all ages and like family friendly and so it was so amazing to have a show that was sold out to families and all ages um, and such a beautiful part of Victoria far out you guys are blessed and uh, it was a wonderful way for us to finish the tour that was the last show mm. and we said goodbye to Tay and he went on to play Adelaide and Perth um, and then we made our way home stopping with some friends and family on the way back we're getting attacked by mosquitoes again thanks so much for watching mm. um, Brook Street such a new kind of thing for us mm. so we figured we can kind of bring you guys along on all our various adventures so mm. um if you made it this far cheers and thank you to all the people who came out to a show all of the um new friends that we made all of the people who hosted us in their homes and the family thank you so much mm -hmm. um we will be back see you on the next one <laughs>